Good afternoon. Thank you very much for tuning in. As you can see, we've got two very special guests with us in the studio. This amazing creature, AV1, a robot that can perhaps help children with long-term illnesses and make their lives a little bit better. And Karen Dolver, who is Hi. the co-founder of No Isolation, the company that has made this robot. Yeah. So please, we would like your questions. Please bring them into the Facebook page. We will answer them all. Some of you might be watching from home. Uh, you may be ill in bed and you might be thinking, what's going on in the office? Or what's going on in school? What am I missing? What are my friends saying? What are the teachers doing? What subjects am I missing? Well, this is where AV1 comes in. So, Karen, tell us a little bit about AV1. Why did you make it? Oh, uh, the whole idea behind No Isolation started as the three of us wanting to uh, help people communicate. And we wanted to start with the kids and teenagers because we thought we could have the biggest impact in their lives. Uh, so we're working with seniors too, but with a very different product. But uh, no, uh, the whole concept behind AV1 is a result of like long talks with the parents that have uh, sick kids, with the schools that are trying to teach them and involve them in yeah, everyday life. And then okay, so the you've result. got a little yeah. AV1 down got here, a that's live fully one. connected and yes. ready to go. Hi. Introduce us to AV1. What does it do? So it's not supposed to be in the same room as the person using it. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. But now it is, just for the sake of showing. Sure. So if I were sick and in bed, I could send my robot to school uh, or out on field trips or anywhere. And right. it would be representing me. I would normally give it my own name. I would normally, I don't know, yeah, make it my own. So you could sit this little robot in a classroom? At your desk. And then okay. you see the video stream at home on ah, your tablet okay. and you use touch to control where it looks so it will move when you like pull it wherever you want to see and now everyone can see the studio here <laughs> which is what this is so seeing. take it around the studio let's have a look oh. okay. say hi to you oh, no, i'm reaching me oh, first where are you going <laughs> oh, i'm gonna look at myself <laughs> which is, uh, and so the idea is to say you were the teacher that the kid could watch the teacher or and watch its friends. And obviously talk. And now right. we've turned off Hi, the sound for feedback reasons. Right. But uh, yeah, you can talk just as if you were there. So everyone around the robot can hear you and you can hear them. And the reason we have one-way video stream is that the kids we're helping, they're lying in bed, they're mm -hmm. severely sick, mm -hmm. and they don't want to be on display. So we were a lot out in like testing Skype, seeing how the different video streaming services work. And one of the like, greatest feedbacks was that they don't want to show off. Like They want to be there and they want to talk to everyone, but using all the tools that we're using normally is really difficult for them. We're getting lots of comments, lots of questions in. Please do bring your questions and comments in. I'm monitoring them on my phone here to make sure that we're able to look at them. Now, Lay says, very nice. I imagine, okay, so this could be used for lots of different people with lots of different conditions. Tell us the kinds of children who are using it right now, how it's helping them. There's a lot of different diagnoses. Uh, I think the maybe biggest one is chronic fatigue. Then you also have cancer patients, of course. And then, you know, there's so many, so many smaller diagnosed groups that have, are using it in different ways. So one of the one of the stories we didn't see coming, but which has been like one of the greatest ones, is Eirik, and he's 10 years old, mm -hmm. and 10 weeks a year he stays at training camps and. He can't like participate with the others, but now they lined up his breaks at the training facility, so he is spending his breaks there with the, his students, like his classmates at home. And the children is so cool. are saying it's really nice because I'm not missing what my friends are saying yeah. in class. I'm not missing and, the jokes. And for the kids there as well, like the kids in the classroom, it's their friends that are out, right? So it's really important to uh, keep that person a part of the group. We have lots and lots of comments coming in. So Kabir says, awesome creation. Thank you, Kabir. Uh, and Sean says, does it play DVDs? No. <laughs> it does Can't not do play everything. DVDs. No. But if you play a DVD in the classroom, you can watch the DVD through this. 
Ah, okay. So oh. whatever's being played I, in the classroom, <laughs> you can see. It's her. kind of like this is the child's eyes yes. and ears. And voice. Okay. But what if you want to ask a question in class? So you have a few options here. We've cut it to the bare minimum because we wanted to make it as simple as possible. But if you click the raise your hand button, that will start blinking. So it's ah, a very so non-intrusive way. It's yeah. Blinking. And so the the teacher. Can so if you can see that there, the, the um, head is blinking, and then that would mean for the teacher, hey, the I'm, kid at I'm, home... I'm trying to say something, but right, I don't want right. to interrupt. Okay. And then you okay. also have something that we, we learned through, we were testing for seven months, just going back and forth and back and forth with 20 real kids with very different diagnosis. And the chronic fatigue kids especially, they want to be there, but they are often too like sick to actually participate sure. so they want to use it more like a tv to see what's happening and just be a part of class and then you can turn the head blue with the sleeping mode saying that i'm here but please don't ask me any hard questions don't involve me at a high level i'm i'm only like looking that must be very useful for someone if they're really tired but they they don't want to miss out they want exactly. to know what's going on so you can turn the head of the robot blue i'm getting so many questions in okay thank you so much for bringing in the questions we have Marriott says, thank you Marriott, what is the cost of each robot? So we're primarily selling to schools and they're buying it for £2,200. Okay, yeah. and which, where is it available at the moment? Online. Uh, we have one private customer in the UK and she is a big reason why we're here because uh, the mother reached out to us online and was like, when so can I get it? It's not quite available on our national health system. Well, not through the national health system, but uh, any school can buy it at any time. Um, okay, uh, Chloe, thank you for your question, Chloe. Chloe says, the robot, does it do live streaming or does it do any recording? Now, this is really important. It's really important. Tell me a little bit more. So, privacy has been, of course, a huge issue. We're putting a camera in the classroom, but this only live streams and it's end-to-end -end tunnel. Everything's cryptated. We are never going to make any money off of data. So... It's only the kid that's supposed to be there that can be there at the moment it's happening. So it's all live. Yes, it's all live and nothing is that, ever that stored. That does mean they say you've got a very difficult lesson going on and you want to recap what's being said in class. It, you can't kind of use yeah, it like that. It's like you're there. It's, it's like you're there. It's supposed to be like okay. you're there. Right. So privacy, though. There might be some parents out there that say, I don't want this thing in my class, in my child's class. I don't want it recording what my children are doing. But I think what that's do you say key, to that? Like, record. We're not doing that. And that's the whole point. And that was, we got that feedback a lot when testing the other services as well, that the other parents were uncomfortable with the free services because you know that these companies they own your data and they can see both sides of the communication, they can store it, uh, but we have like, extremely straightforward user terms where we uh, yeah, inform you that we're, we're never going to look at it, we don't have the access to it even. And how do you make sure that, say, there's not someone with bad intentions on the other side of that robot? Uh, how do you stop it from hackers, I guess, or from, you know, children, privacy, very important? Yeah. Uh, no, so only one tablet controls or one... one um, you call a mobile or tablet controls one robot and if I were to break this tablet now then I would have to get a new code to access the same robot so you can't have several users at several places. Right, so you've built in yeah. a lot of features to try and keep yes. safety also at top. Okay everything. so many questions coming in thank you to our Facebook audience for all these <laughs> questions Oh, we're being asked by Betty, thank you very much, about the battery life. That's a good question. Yeah. I mean, what if you have a really long lesson at school? Six hours of streaming. Six and hours, And it's okay. also like the same as most Android phones with the charger in the back. So it can, yeah, you can use it whilst it's charging as well. Okay. And Masango, thank you for your question. Oh, okay. So can it be hacked? Ooh. I don't think so, but... <laughs> you hope I, not. No. Okay. Joshua says, can you make one so I don't have to go to work? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we get that question a lot. And in an office setting, I would definitely like put a screen on it because in an office you would want to see who was on the other end. In a classroom, those 20, 30 kids, they know each other and they're going to know the person behind. So without a screen, you're going to recognize the voice. You're going to know that, okay, this is my classmate. In an office, that's not always the case, at least not in offices like this where people come and go all the time. And uh, 
No, also it relies on your friends picking you up and bringing you everywhere, right? So I can't send that into work instead of me. I mean, it no, probably do can. just as good a job sitting here. And <laughs> actually, to the audience out there, if you're hearing a bit of a double feedback going on, it's the robot. The robot's also kind of relaying what we're saying here. So if you're hearing two bits of feedback, that's where it's coming from. It just shows how good it's working. So we have another question, Gemma. Gemma says, great creation, <laughs> but couldn't you just use a webcam and microphone? Yeah, that's it. Then you rely on like extreme motions being put in place on both sides. So what you're seeing with actually all of the services that we've found is that if I want to log on the classroom with something like that and I'm eight years old and my mom have to call my teacher and said okay at 12 30 I'll, uh, I'll log in the teacher needs to be ready with like okay it's on Wi-Fi everything needs to be set up for every meeting but here the child is in complete control it's your avatar mm -hmm. you know it mm -hmm. you can log on whenever you want you know that it can be brought around because it's built but what, for it. What do teachers so, uh, think yeah. of it I mean I can imagine you know there are some teachers out there who might think I don't want this distraction in my classroom I know I mean as well, cute as it is I don't want these is. two beady eyes sitting there what have, what reaction have you had I've been quite amazed with the teachers I thought we were going to get more assistance than we've gotten uh, but they know that this is a child they're supposed to have in class it's also someone they know and someone they're teaching so they're uh, yeah no been extremely positive really and, and what uh, about the other kids oh, they're the best and they get it the second we put it there uh, they understand it the younger they are the younger they kind of just okay it's your avatar can i have but, yeah. a little go yeah of course right, let me see if yeah. i can reach over okay so if just i pull wherever you want if to go. i want to go oh here we go so you can see we've got some guests in the studio there you can just about see them <laughs> and if i wanted to go around and look oh that's one of our robot cameras over there <laughs> And oh, you can raise your head. Let me. How do up. I do that? Oh, there you are. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. Okay, that's great. And then oh, you can just see our screen there. Yes, we are live. It is our Facebook live. Oh, and that's me. Moving on. And there's more of our guests. So that's what our studio looks like right now. If I have a question, I press on here. And it starts and that's lighting up so the head of the robot lights up to tell the parent okay and what's this participant button ah so okay I'm tired now I just want to watch yep and the head of the robot goes blue I don't know that you can see that but I can see right now that the head of the robot goes blue more questions how long did it take to develop the robot Hi, we've been working like crazy for a year and a half. Uh, we soft launched in Norway last August, so now we've been uh, yeah out and about and in sales for almost a year. And Ken says, 360. Can he do that? Well, we sort of just about you can spin did 360 that. at least. Uh, you can't jump. You like can then spin. you'll be really good. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, I'm you gonna... can spin 360 degrees around. that. <laughs> so uh... I'm trying. <laughs> How quickly can I make him spin? Uh, All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, uh, is it lagging or not? Getting there? We're getting is there. It too quick. This is maybe uh, maybe maybe <laughs> it's my touch screen quick, skills. Okay, I'm trying. It's um, it's decided to stop at me. There. Thank you for that. Uh, here we go. But so you can do a couple of tricks. So yeah. in general, you have to be quite a good student because you sit there quietly. But you can do a couple of things. Yeah. You. Uh, no, they make it more human with dressing it up and learning mo uh, movements. And when it's quiet, like you cannot probably hear it through here, but you can slightly hearing it's moving. And it's, uh, yeah. Thank you for the questions. We have so many still coming in. Okay, so Rebecca says, what about if the student has a homework sheet from the lesson? I guess you can't really... Then you'll have to do that wherever you are. But uh, no, our company is no isolation, so we're primarily made a social, like a robot that will make you social. Uh, so curriculum is a bonus. Okay, very, very quickly, can you yeah. show us your office in Oslo? Because you said you we might can be try. able to. Uh, we have let's, another let's iPad that's connected to that. a robot there. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully we'll make that happen just so we can prove 
that it can work far away and not just in our studio. Yeah. Uh, and while we're waiting for that to get set up, shouldn't take too long. No. Um, can he go travelling? Yes. Says Ken. Thank you for that question. Yeah. You can take. Uh, you can like, lift it up and bring it wherever. Uh, it runs on 4G. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, just like a cell phone, you can switch that between the Wi-Fi at the school or go outside on 4G. And so we're just going to bring in now the other iPad and then we can show you just very quickly yeah. your Hopefully. office in Oslo. In? So yeah. let's bring that in. Thank you so much for coming across the studio. Thank you. And here Surprise. we go. We've got it. Okay, so. That pin. Did you choose a pin earlier? Right. Okay, so Tuba, thank you so much for your um, mm. comment. Awesome. Lindsay asking if it runs off school Wi-Fi. I know that 4G is the key here. And we have Rebecca saying, uh, yes, Someone more about... Someone said a pin in the app that I don't know what is. Ah, but... so we might be running into difficulties. Yes. Okay, all right. To... Yeah, okay. Perhaps in that case, <laughs> let's not go to Oslo. Sorry. That's fine. We won't. Sorry, we sorry. we will just have to take your word is, for though. it. Yeah. <laughs> that's how good the privacy is. Okay. Yeah. Very very last question. Julie okay. says, "What's your favourite feature of the robot and why?" I think the blue light because it was discovered like during the tests all of the other things we could kind of assume our way to the the mobility and the streaming and all the security that was things we could uh, think our ways to but the blue light we would never have gotten to that conclusion without the kids telling us that and maybe the fact that there's no screen because we thought so too that we'll need a screen because that's the general assumption of adults but uh yeah they didn't want it so uh Listen to the children. That yes. is your... Always, or listen to the users. So, uh, that's yeah. your final answer. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you very, very that's much. Cool. Thank you to our Facebook audience for joining in. All the questions, <laughs> really appreciate them. Sorry we didn't have time to do all of them. And thank you, of course, to AV1.